Good afternoon. I'm Bruce Bierbauer, lead naturalist at Catawba Science Center in Hickory, North Carolina. This is a continuation of the online books that we started on Earth Day. Today's book is Over and Under the Pond by Kate Mesner, an art by Christopher Silas Neal. The publisher was Chronicle Books, LLC, and this book and many others that we'll be using are available for a checkout from the Patrick Beaver Library here in Hickory. All you have to do is call, they'll bag them, and have them ready for you. So, here I am in the Naturalist Center in front of one of our newest sets of freshwater fish. So we've redone this into a freshwater wall with fish and ducks and other things. Here we go. Over the pond we slide, splashing through the lily pods, sweeping through the reeds. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sun, shine, and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there, I ask? Under the palm? Palm, Mom ask? Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them right now. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes. Whirligig beetles whoop and twirl skaters on the warm summer surface. Under the pond, mid is dark through the waving forest of grass, while brook trout lurks ready to lunge. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a water pod log. One, two, three, they slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh under the pond. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close, closely. Go three, go three. Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Underneath the pond, the caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean out from the shore. We coast underneath the low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouth full of water lilies. We interrupted his lunch. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with their powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and it stirs the light dappled leaves on the shore. There on the branch, a new goldfinch tweeters, ready to fly away. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning how to hop. They're losing their tails, growing legs, and growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, takes one long legged step, and strikes! It catches a wiggling quicksilver mini minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond we drift, heads dipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, the otter calls for freshwater mussels. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly last lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Osprey circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and mink stalk for shoreline and Look for supper. Under the pond, 
With a flip of the tail, a crayfish disappears into the dark. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up to the shore as a far off loon <laughs> calls good night. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond, the prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turn frogs, waiting herons and stalking raccoons. And the hidden world under the pond. Thank you for joining us today. Look forward to our next story, perhaps next week.